here we are at part 7 of my video walkthrough for Suikoden. I've just gotten my party members. I'm getting ready to prepare myself to go into the castle of Torin. Just got to the town of Sikia so I can equip some ruins on everyone. Now at this point I like to go ahead and make Cleo my primary healer by giving her a water rune. Um, and I go ahead and give the fire rune to Camille. She's a pretty decent uh, caster but not quite as good as Cleo. And I give a holy rune to Taiho. Uh, popping herself back over to uh, Kaku here. Go ahead and uh, rest up and save. And one thing that I forgot to note is the world map enemies when you're traveling around between Seki and Kaku are very powerful for us at this point. But uh, after we go through the castle of Torin, we'll be strong enough where we can kill them without too much problem. But anyway, here we are at the castle of Tarn. I'm going to go and explore it here. Uh, here's an example of one of the worst fights in here, which I just got off right off the bat. Ghost armor and three of these things. I like to go ahead and use uh, Tears level 1 solely to ruin power deadly fingertips to uh, kill the ghost armors. Now what it does is it just kills any one enemy that you use it on. So uh, they have no chance to resist. Nothing they can do about it. The ghost armors are very dangerous when they got big heavy defense guards like this to uh, protect them. They'll tear you up before you never even do any damage to them. Most of the uh, enemies in this place have really high defense, but aren't necessarily all that dangerous. It just takes a long time to kill everything. But uh, we go up in levels like insane crazy mad in here, so... By the time we uh, get through here, we'll be pretty pimped out. Yay, finally they're dying! Woohoo! Yeah, when I was traveling through here the first time, I forgot I had a holy run, that's why I'm not running. Down here we got a chest with some toe shoes. This is a plus nine defense item. I usually like to give my best defense items to the hero. Just cause he's the hero. Don't want him dying. Go ahead and give the boots to uh, whoever needs them. Probably should have clipped that out a little better. Alright, anyway, let's move on here. Got another chest up here with an antique in it. Got a chest down here with 2,000 bits. Head up here, head up the stairs. Do try to make sure that you get all the chest out of here, because uh, once you pass this point, you can never come back into this particular part of this castle. Had a power room piece in that chest. And this northern chest here. We got a pointed hat, which I think all our people already got those by now. And over here in this chest, we got a medicine. Moving on. Got another set of stairs to go up. The music in here is very cool, I have to say. I like most of the music for this game. Got a save crystal there whenever we need it, which I um, might miss the chest at first. Got an antique in it. Moving on. Head up these stairs here. Head to the right. Over here we got two chests, but they're both located in my behind secret passageways. There's the wall for the first one. And it has a wind crystal, which allows us to cast wind magic. And uh, walking down in here, you kind of got to like worm your way around, and uh, I kind of got lost a little bit. Getting stuck on the walls and stuff, I couldn't quite uh, get my way through here. There we go. It has a hazy crystal, which when you have that equipped on somebody, increases their dodge chance. 
And um, that's all the treasures in the dungeon. So um, usually by this point I'm pretty beat up. So uh, I go, like to go ahead and uh, go back to town and rest up and save before taking on the boss. The boss is very, very challenging, so uh, you might want to make sure you're well prepared for it. Which, uh, this should also gain you another level, maybe two, by the time you get back out. Um, is, here's this uh, difficult fight again, only I'm out of deadly fingertips, so here's my alternate battle strategy. Using the clone rune and the flaming arrows will take out the ghost armor. One advantage to uh, Victor being unbalanced, I thought I'd just mention here, is that he can still use items. He just can't fight. Oh man, Tyr got poisoned. Alright, back at the bottom of the castle. Got a chest there with a Mega Medicine, which I forgot to grab before I went in. Then just talk to Yamku to head back to town. Head to the end here and rest up and save. Well, no, I saved later. I just rest for now. I go ahead and save at the crystal inside the castle. All right. Let's head back in. Alright, I like to go ahead and save right here, just in case. Now let's go tear up some boss. Now we're in the castle proper. Just head down the stairs to the basement area. And here's the zombie dragon. This guy can be very hard if he wants to be. You want to burn all your fire magic on him, and uh, on most bosses I like to use Fog of Deception. I don't know if it really helps or not, but what the hey. Um, this fight took me like five minutes, so um... I trimmed it down to just like the three main rounds, the first couple rounds on the last one. That's what makes the boss mean. Uh, that flaming breath attack is like horribly terrible on your party. Um, you need to heal Grimio every single time that he does that or else Grimio will die. Uh, usually tears really fast so I usually use him to heal Grimio. You can use Victor's off rounds to also heal some of the tougher party members. Just uh, try to remember who goes before the dragon and who doesn't, so you can have those people use medicines to heal everybody, so you can keep people from dying. And uh, you just got to beat on. It's mostly an endurance fight more than anything. You just got to be able to keep everyone alive long enough for you to kill them. And uh, skipping over to the last round of combat here. Had to use my drops of kindness. I usually try to reserve that for like Victor and stuff because Victor has so many hit points he really needs it. Alright! See everyone jumping up to 1819 off that fight. 4,000 bits. That's what you get for acting big even after you're dead! I love that line. But now that the castle's ours, we get to name it! I named my castle Freedom!